Hi, my name is Chris Pierce King and I work for Nuance Document Imaging. Today I'm going to take you through eCopy Share Scan, scanning into autonomy into Open Worksite. We'll start with a brief overview of eCopy Share Scan and then we'll move into three demonstrations. Autonomy into Open Worksite is a document management system primarily aimed towards the legal market, and so some of these terms will uh, be instantly uh, recognizable if you work in a legal market. Um, so we're going to scan into My Matters. Then we're going to scan using the Worksite Explorer, and lastly, we're going to scan using the Favorites. For opportunities to call for a solution to solve collaborative workflow issues, eCopy is well positioned. The eCopy user experience is best suited for users who need to capture hard copy documents into workflows where the information is being shared with their associates or colleagues. Examples of document capture workflows that are collaborative in nature are patient care teams capturing and converting physician referral notes into an electronic healthcare record system, or legal teams that need to capture documents such as correspondence, documentary evidence, etc., into a client's case or matter folder. eCopy ShareScan does this with fail safe features like document preview, real time confirmation, and offering a consistent workflow. We offer API-level integration with a wide range of document management systems and applications, and users are able to securely capture, convert, and store documents almost anywhere from an MFP. So let's switch over to looking at some demonstrations of scanning into Interwoven Worksite. I've got a virtual machine here. Uh, it's running Interwoven Worksite uh, version 8. And this is the mail site client. This is uh, uh, effectively Outlook. Um, that the lawyer would be working in. We can see we can switch between mails and, and actually browsing the worksite folder. And down at the bottom there, we've actually got uh, the ability to browse my matters. Now, these are the matters that the lawyer is working on. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a, uh, a matter and we're going to scan into the agreements folder there. So we have another virtual machine running, um, which is a share scan server, and we're going to use the simulator here. So we've got a single connector published to the MFP scan to work site. So we're going to push the button, and the first thing you'll see is that uh, we, we've got a full screen preview. So we can actually preview the document right on the, on, the, on the fly, and this is the feedback instantly to the lawyer or to the secretary that they've done something right, and, and they can see they've scanned the document the right way up. When they're happy that uh, they've, they've got the, the document scanned in correctly, they're going to hit next, and then we're going to log on. We need to do some, some kind of authentication. In the case, this case, we're just going to choose the username. We see we did type ahead, put in the password, and we're going to hit next. That's going to authenticate in real time against uh, uh, Worksite. And when we choose My Matters, in real time again, you can see the matters that the lawyer is working on. We're going to choose the Agreements folder. And uh, so we're just going to choose the Agreements folder there, and we're just going to hit Next. We now need to the, uh, fill in the mandatory fields, the ones that are in yellow here. So we're going to give a description. We're going to choose the author. In this case, it's Jones. And again, you'll see type ahead. And we'll choose the class of doc. And again, this is a drop-down list available to the user. We're going to hit Next. We could fill out a whole uh, host of uh, fields that are available in Worksite. They're not mandatory. We're just going to hit Send. And uh, the document's now going to be converted on the fly and sent to uh, Interwoven Worksite. Uh, in real time. And when you see the, the done screen, that means it's a uh, document successfully sent, and that's a real time confirmation screen. We then switch back over to the mail site client, and there we have uh, the new document. You can see all of the, the uh, profile fields that have been automatically filled out. We can open the document. Uh, even though it is a very old version of, uh, of Adobe Acrobat, it'll still open, and we can see that we've got our document there. So that's our first scan into My Matters. So the next uh, next demonstration is going to be uh, scanning using the document work list. Again, you know we can see that uh, we're in the uh, uh, in in the lawyer's uh, email here, and what we're going to do is we're going to give the lawyer the ability to browse various uh, repositories, and uh, we've got this thing called Worksite Explorer. So you can see the navigation there within Worksite, within the mail site client. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to use the Worksite Explorer from within ShareScan, within, within eCopy ShareScan client. So we're going to switch back out to our uh, ShareScan client, and we're going to hit the simulator, the scan to Worksite, hit Next. So obviously we'll skip the preview, we'll type in the username Jones, and we'll authenticate as Jones. 
So this time we're going to choose the bottom option Worksite Explorer and you can see that those libraries are there available um, exactly as if they were in the, the Worksite client. We're going to choose one of the folders, the attorney notes there and we're going to hit next. We, again we're reading in real time from Worksite which fields are mandatory. We're going to give it a description, choose the author and we're going to hit next and we're not going to give it any further details, we're just going to hit send. So again you saw that the, some of the fields were pre-populated. If those fields are pre-populated on the Worksite server, we'll actually present that metadata at the, the device and uh, if they're mandatory we'll highlight them in yellow and that's the job done. And we're walking away now from the copy and we're going back to the desk and back to the um, the, the lawyers um, uh, plug in within uh, Outlook and we can see the documents there. We can see all of the metadata that's been, been captured with the document. And again, we can open the document just to show that, uh, that that scan did actually arrive, which is great. So the next demonstration that's coming up is the ability to scan into favorites. And again, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk you through the client as if you were at a lawyer's desktop. And a lawyer actually has access to um, a whole bunch of folders, um, and they can make these favorites within Interwoven Worksite. So what we can do is we can navigate through some of the some of the hierarchy, some of the libraries, and actually say, do you know what? I use this folder a lot. I scan into this folder a lot. I'm going to uh, to make it one of my favourites. We're just going to go in and do a quick scan. And we're just going to authenticate just to show you that we have a couple of favourites already, and we're going to go through the process of actually adding another favourite, and we're going to make sure that that turns up in in ShareScan in real time. So this time we'll choose my favourites. We see we've got personal folders and precedents. Those are the only two favourites. We're going to switch back to the Out, uh, Outlook client, uh, which is mail site, and we're going to browse through a bunch of folders and we're going to add another favorite in real time. So we can see here we're going to choose Add to, add to My Favorites. We, you can give it a name and you'll see it appear in the list uh, in, in Outlook there. And what we're going to do now, this is in real time, so we're not telling ShareScan about it, and this is to show the API integration um, between eCopy ShareScan and Worksite itself. So again, we're going to authenticate as Jones. So Jones, we see do type ahead. We're going to type in the password. I'm going to hit next, and we'll choose my favorites. And there it is, Matter1141, and we'll hit next. And we'll give it a description. Notice that the fields do change according to where you're scanning an interwoven worksite. Again, that's uh, down to the API level integration. Um, in real time, we're, we're polling worksite to say what fields are required here. And we can hit uh, send. And uh, as soon as the document says that it's successfully sent, that is the real time, again, the real time confirmation to the lawyer or to the secretary in, in a law firm to say, hey, this document has been, has been stored. So we'll switch back into the mail site client and we'll just refresh the folder and we can see our document has appeared there. So very, very easily we've shown how we can scan into Autonomy Interwoven Worksite three different ways, my matters uh, into uh, using the uh, Worksite Explorer and using the favorites method. Um, I hope this really helps you guys.